hey! This is Scarlet back the uh, Excalibur 2 perfect game run. And right now we're gonna go talk to our master, I guess. <laughs> About getting into that play that we totally should have gotten into, but some jackass screwed us out of a red ticket. <laughs> anyway, again, there's not much to say during this part of the game. Especially because we haven't gone to any of the difficult parts. The beginning is always straightforward in these kinds of challenges. So up here, there's not much that you need to do. Uh, Name me Vivi. You gotta make sure that you get all of the uh, little treasures out of the bird nest, so that counts towards your your S rank uh, thief thing in <coughs> in Dogero in Discord. So you need to collect all of those. And the items are still helpful because you don't have very many times that you can buy things in stores or go and grind for gill. Actually you don't have any chances like that, at least during the main meet of this challenge. Which is all the way up until Lich in the Moria on Disc 4. After that you can do whatever hell you want. <laughs> So, here we see me doing the FMV skip again. Now, I screwed this up more than once, and I was starting to get a little angry, because I kept not uh, changing the disc or exiting out quick enough, so the emulator kept crashing. Again, that's something you have to be very careful about, because it will happen. It will happen often if you don't know what you're doing. Now you can't go through the uh, dialogue in this part as quickly as you can in other parts. Mostly because, well, it goes on its own. <laughs> you can't fast forward through the dialogue here, you just gotta let it be. It's a little respite from the rest of the game, scenes like this, but it's also a bit annoying because it adds to your time that you could have otherwise taken away and since if you're not playing on an emulator and you don't save states, you are going to have to start back from the steeple if you screw up any part from here to the end of uh, the duel between Zanar and Blank. And the duel between Zanar and Blank is one of the hardest parts of this challenge, right in the, right in the beginning. That hiccup there was me save stating. <laughs> Alright, so, the fight with King Leo, slash Bonk. In this fight, don't use any of the special effects, don't use any items, don't worry about healing, just everybody set to attack King Leo, Bonk. By doing this, you get the fight over with as quickly as possible. I wasn't too lucky here, but if you were lucky, they'll attack you instead of using too many of the special effects. Special effects don't do anything. They don't hurt you, they don't do anything with them. There's no side quest or anything that talks about how good you did on the special effects. So it's absolutely no point to them. So just stabby stab boss a couple times until he goes down. It, yeah, it doesn't take that long. Everyone knows and everyone loves and loves to hate when you're doing challenges like this. Now 
there was a cut right there. That was actually a cut, not just me save stating, <laughs> because I did this more than many, many more times than once before I got the third. Now, about uh, this duel, what you want to do is you want to pay attention, don't pay attention to anything on the screen except where uh, those symbols pop up. That's how I ended up being able to do it. My head's kind of slid out of focus, and that's all I was seeing. But this part is one of the most difficult of the game. The guide recommends try it three times, and if you don't get it by the third time, to restart. If you're on an emulator, you can just save state beforehand and just keep going back, so you don't have to go through that fight and block you again. Uh, you need to um, impress 100 nobles. You have to. There is no other way. You need the 10,000 gil that you get, and you need that moonstone. Um, let's see what else about it. Right. Each try takes about a minute to complete, so if you do three tries, then that's three minutes. If you do one like I just did there, then there's just one minute. You get two minutes. It's always awesome. Especially because in this particular run, as you'll see at the end, I would have been two minutes behind if I had not just gotten that one... Got it in one try. Well, one try that you all saw. <laughs> that's another very very handy thing in this challenge when it comes to the emulator versus the PlayStation you can just say state before difficult parts like that now this section it doesn't matter which part you choose here it doesn't matter if you examine her face or you go around her I just exam I just examined her face because well that's what I normally do when I play Final Fantasy 9. Um, the other option might be a little bit quicker by a couple seconds, so if you're having a hard time, try the different answers to see which one's a little bit faster. Um, but there's not that much else in the scene. Uh, not much else really happens until the next boss fight. <laughs> oh, these two, Zorn and Thorn. They're not even twins. They look like twins. They're not twins. I'm not even related, I don't think. <laughs> they do have one of the catchiest themes, though. Peter is not happy with me right now. I have to give her a rest after this. So there's our lovely, lovely queen. So lovely. That's why she's not. So here we have Steiner, Mr. Rust Bucket himself, and General Beatrix. So you're not going to see it in this part, but you will see it in the next one. You do have to do the side quest where you find all of the Pluto Knights. <laughs> you just do. Because if you don't, you're not going to get the item from the last Pluto Knight, the elixir, which does count towards your treasure gotten. It's, yeah, it's a little stupid, but... Something got to deal with. And now here we get this moonstone. You need this moonstone. If you think you can go without this moonstone, you are wrong. You need this moonstone. It is the most helpful thing in the Black Mage fights, when you, or the Black Mage fight that you have Garnet in. You need this so she can use shell, so she can make it so you don't die. Uh, it's also a unique item, so it will be missing and you will not have a completely perfect game if you don't have it. Alright, we got 
17 minutes, 59 seconds, 10,781 gil. Again, beat the time by a couple seconds. Didn't beat the uh, gil. I might just sell a potion at one point. So, this is Miss Scarlet Tanager with Final Fantasy IX Excalibur 2 Perfect Game Run. See you next time.